Freshly made vinaigrettes can add a very special touch to a beautiful salad or freshly cooked vegetable, raw vegetables, or can even be used as a marinade. You can make a vinaigrette in a food processor, in your blender, or in a mixing bowl by hand. I'm going to teach you to do it by hand today because once you understand the process, it's exactly the same no matter whether you're doing it by hand or in a machine. If you're doing it by hand, an important tool to have in your kitchen is a dish towel because this is going to provide your third hand. I take a dish towel, roll it up, and put it under my mixing bowl, and it acts as a stabilizer for the bowl so that I don't need a hand to hold it in place. You need to understand that in making a vinaigrette, what you're doing is creating a suspension of oil in acid. The acid could be some kind of vinegar, it could be citrus juice, it could be anything that's going to give that bite and that zing to the dressing. So let's make a vinaigrette. We've got our bowl stabilized. We're going to start with some red wine vinegar today. And to our red wine vinegar, I'm going to add some salt. Now there are proportions to a vinaigrette, and the salt is one of those things that is to taste, but you're going to have one part vinegar, this is two tablespoons of vinegar, one third part mustard, so about two, tables, two teaspoons of mustard, and a bit of salt. And what we want to do is whisk this together first of all to dissolve that salt in the vinegar. The mustard is an important part of this process because it acts as an emulsifier, very much like soap. One end of the, the mustard molecule will grip onto the oil and the other end will grip on to the vinegar. So once we get that completely combined, it's time to add our oil. This is where the third hand comes in because now it's holding the bowl. Whenever you're making a vinaigrette, whether you're doing it by hand in the food processor or in the blender, you always need to start slowly with one or two drops and whisk those in. Make sure there's not an oil slick floating on the top of the bowl. When you're doing this by hand, I've also found that it's very helpful to get the oil to flow in slowly if I pour it down the side of the bowl instead of directly into my vinegar mixture. So a little oil at a time, whisking all the while. When you do this in the blender or the food processor, as the mixture thickens, you'll notice the sound change. You'll hear the machine actually begin to sound lower. So we just whisk that in. And don't be afraid to be aggressive with this. And when we get enough oil in here, magic is going to happen and this whole mixture is going to thicken dramatically. I see it's beginning to happen now. So we need about six tablespoons of oil in this particular mixture. Now what you're doing when you add the oil to the vinegar is to make sure that you have a balance. So it's important to taste before you serve this. Let's give this a taste, see if we're balanced. If it's too vinegary, add more oil. If it doesn't have enough of a bite to it, add a little bit more vinegar. This is great. So I want to season this with some herbs. These are freshly chopped herbs from my garden. And we have a beautiful herb vinaigrette to go on our salad. To store this, simply put it in a, uh, a small jar or in a pitcher, cover the top, leave it on the countertop. If you're going to use this in an hour or so, you might want to leave it just like this in the bowl and give it a good whisk before you use it. If you refrigerate it, it will separate, so you'll need to re-whisk it. And that's it. Vinaigrettes are very easy. Enjoy them on your beautiful salads.